everybody. Welcome back. Burke Bunch Moments, part two of our random moment series. If you haven't seen part one yet, just click up there, the linky thing, and it'll take you to part one. Just a series of random moments that have happened over the last few months to the Burke Bunch. I've cut them together. Didn't quite have enough to make it into their own vlog, so uh, we've just got a nice collection of them. Hope you enjoy them, and uh, stay tuned for more great Burke Bunch moments. Hey everybody, we're here at Liam's new school. And yeah, a bunch of crazy kids here. And yeah, we, they're gonna perform the, the most melodic tunes in a, a band has ever heard. And I'm videoing it, so it better sound good, right? Deal? Yeah. Hopefully. Except for I want nothing but confidence. Say it will sound good. Yeah! This is probably for the not a band. not a Get out! Out! <laughs> What's going on? Band performance. A what? Band performance. Liam's first band performance at his new school. At my new school. At your new school. I've done like three of them. And that's what he's playing. He's a trombonist. <laughs> Is this your kitty cat basket? It wasn't really set up for you. Liam, yeah, you have enough, you have enough. Extreme Jenga. Keep in mind, he might fall on you. You can't get oh, that. I love you too. If you get mad, we'll be mad. Careful, let's do this one. Right. Yo. There's a bunch. There's a bunch. Oh. Now you're just trying to get him to fall. No, you saw one. You got one. Okay, this one right here. Scared. You got one. Welcome to another mind-bending math question. This time, it's a game show question. You're playing Let's Make a Deal. You've won, potentially, your brand new car. The host says, behind one of these three doors is your new car. Which door do you want? So you say, well, I, I picked this door. And the host says, well, just so you know, the next door is not a winner. So then the host says, you can either switch to the green door or keep your red door. Which one should you do? Which one will give you the better chance of winning? Or does it matter at all? The choice is yours. Think about it. The answer's coming soon. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to another mind-bending question. Yesterday's question was about the three doors. One of them has a new car in it. You pick this one, the host says it's not in this one, but you can switch if you want. What should you do? 
Well, the answer is you should always switch, and I'll show you why. When you pick this door, you had a one in three chance of winning. These two doors had a two, three chance, two thirds chance of winning. By eliminating this door, the green door now has a two thirds chance of winning. You only have one third. Switch, you'll have a much better chance. Another way to think about it. There's a hundred doors, you pick door number one. The host says, well, out of all these doors, I'm gonna eliminate everything except door 55. It's either your door or door 55, which one has the better chance? Well, of course, you're gonna to wanna to switch. Your chances are way, way better. There you go, another mind-bending question. One of the things that drives us crazy about the dogs is the barking when there's somebody comes to the door, in particular. Or if somebody comes, like a repairman or somebody Just they don't know. Non-stop barking. So, we've tried uh, the inhumane shot collars. Didn't work because his hair is too thick. We tried the citronella squirt in your nose thing. So he's- That he, works outside for some reason but not in the house. Yeah, it makes the house smell like pledge. A nice, clean smell, but it doesn't help him too much. So now we're trying the ultrasonic uh, remote control yell at the dog from a distance thing. And we'll see if it works. Like the collar looks like it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's huge. Just a little bit of... Sp extra. Extra there. Just a little bit. That's the remote. And it's very tempting just to push away now while he's having supper, so he doesn't want to have supper anymore. Let's see, Baxter, turn your head. Oh. It's a good thing it's not an electrocution one on the back of your brain stem. Okay, Angela's gonna go ring the doorbell. <laughs> Baxter, no. 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 So Baxter is gonna work. He's trying on cricket. Uh, Logan. Logan, folk. Watch where you're going, dude. This is what kids in video games do. This is way Four. too old-fashioned. Almost four thousand bucks. It's not going in Logan's bedroom. Oh man. No fear. And who would have thought picking Christmas life could be so complicated? It's sticky. It's a miracle, Logan. It's a miracle. Hey, Logan, come here. Okay, ready? Just stand still. Okay. See? Um, no, doesn't work. Okay, Logan. Hello, Cricket. What have you got on your feet? Extreme all-weather boots. <laughs> all right. Let's see if she can walk with them. <laughs> Come here, Cricket. Are you okay? Well, today's the big day. Liam's first chance to actually qualify for the Ontario Cup in gymnastics. He's got quite the outfit here. Let's take a look. All right, nice. Okay, now leave the coat on. Ditch the black pants first. Slide over his white pants. Cool, all right. It's like one's weird striptease going on here or something. And then he's got shorts, white shorts underneath. And socks. And white socks. And just about everything white. So he's having spaghetti for breakfast. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. Not messing with you, bud.
Now Liam is back from his very first tournament, Olympic uh, gymnastics. Like really pre, 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 right? His very first one. Okay, how'd you do, dude? Good. Okay, let's see the results. Let's see some hardware. Right there. Oh, just barely fourth overall. Oh, second place for. Ooh, silver medal. Put it on. What is it for you? Floor. Silver medal for floor. Second best. Ooh. And gold medal for vault. Vault. Number one at vault. Takes gold. Sweet. Okay, come on. Oh, I know. You're a little wobbly. It's okay. Come here. Oh. So this is something that happens to Cricket. It's the third time in her life. And we have no idea why. The vet doesn't know why. She has some sort of miswiring in her brain. She gets wobbly. Balance is off. Her eyes get little. Her, her eyes get little. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. And she tends to just sleep a lot. It's good for her though. I think it's because she's dizzy.